I am Mastery Academy. Welcome everybody around the world. Hope you are all doing well and welcome to the boot camp. Now I realize that boot camp has been something that has been mentioned for literally six months. And the reason that I have not put out a boot camp just yet is I wanted to make sure that what I teach in this boot camp is not only impactful, but it packs a punch, meaning we can get to the bottom line faster so that you can begin trading that much quicker. And so this boot camp is designed to take people from literally zero, knowing absolutely nothing, to 100. And so what I wanna talk about with everybody on this call today is the zero. We're gonna start at zero today. We're gonna to talk about how to use DeLorean, the basics of DeLorean. We're gonna talk about the ins and outs of the software itself, some things that you guys probably don't even know yet. We're gonna jump on and actually learn how to use it. And throughout bootcamp, we'll learn things like portfolio management. We're gonna learn things like advanced entries, stop loss levels. We're gonna learn trend trading marks. We are going to learn a lot of stuff that I have never talked about before. And so with that said, guys, I am really happy to have you here. We designed this boot camp, first of all, to be recordable, meaning you guys can watch this over and over and over again. And my intention is down in the favorite section of I Am Mastery Academy in, in my I Am uh, Go Live section room, you guys are going to be able to watch it on the favorite section one after another after another day one day two so on and so forth and so with that said guys today is officially day one boot camp has officially started and we're going to jump in immediately and get right on the screen to learn actually how to use the delorean software so first things first when you go to i am mastery academy and i am dot center this is what it's going to look like now obviously depending on when you're logging in you might be a little bit different if they do updates in the future as they always do but generally speaking you should see on the left side things like home completions academies pip talk strategies go live and all these sort of things I actually want to spend just a couple of minutes with you guys to go through each and every one of these so you know exactly what they mean for you and where to access specific information, whether it pertains to DeLorean or maybe it doesn't pertain to the DeLorean. So first things first, you'll notice under home, this is the screen that we are all on. This is where we can find at a glance what we have going on. The big thing right here is completions. This actually shows you if you've completed the course material or not. Now, as you guys probably already know, under academies is where you find the course material. In fact, if you're English and you're watching this via English, then you're gonna to go to Learn Forex Trading English. If you're Spanish and you're watching this, Learn Forex Trading Spanish, so on and so forth. And so if we go to English, we can scroll down and you can begin the Forex series. You simply hit enroll and this will begin you in your series. What is Forex? History of Forex. The greatest thing about it is in this boot camp, I don't need to talk about all that. I could, but it'd be a waste of your time. So what I'm trying to tell you is the what is, the how to count a pip, the how to place a trade, what is a buy limit, what is a sell limit. That sort of information is not pertinent to this boot camp. This boot camp is so you can jump in and get involved right now in the foreign exchange. You can get involved with DeLorean right now with the advanced stuff. So what I'm trying to say is, if you need to, definitely go back and go into this information if you have not already. Moving forward here, you'll notice Pip Talk. Before we begin, Pip Talk right under DeLorean. Okay, once you click Pip Talk, go right under DeLorean and subscribe to our Pip Talk. This is where we communicate with each other. In fact, if I go to hit view, you guys will notice that in this top section, it says general forum. That is where you guys can actually go to comment and you can chat with other DeLorean users. We, as of right now, are one of the only strategies that have a pip talk enabling comments. And that's because of you guys. DeLorean Nation is a mature group of people that is very serious about learning. Nobody is messing around. Non-compliant messages will not be tolerated. But with that said, we've never had an issue. And it's because of you guys inside of DeLorean Nation. So go in there, communicate meet people say hello introduce you might be in the same city and you might be able to work something out where you can help one another moving forward here i'm going to skip strategies for a minute because that is where we're going to go at the end of this but finally if you go to go live this is where you actually find who is live and when they're teaching and those sort of things so for instance if we go to the bottom right now you can see that there's two educators live right now so this is going to show you who is live every single time you scroll all the way to the bottom it'll say live educators when you go to the bottom and go to live educators, that is going to show you who is live as we speak right now. 
Moving up now, here is DeLorean. This is where you go to watch the live sessions. Now, obviously, if you're watching this, I probably don't have to tell you that, but I might as well say it that right now, this is how our schedule stands. It's always, uh, it's always changing, sometimes depending on the, the time of year, depending on what the clients want, we change this up. But right now, as it stands, I am live Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern. And uh, Tyrone is live Monday through Thursday. Or I'm sorry, I'm live Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. Eastern. Tyrone is live Monday through Thursday. He is live Monday at 9 p.m. He's live Tuesday at 6 and 9. He's live Wednesday at 6 and Thursday at 6. And finally, Abel, the legend himself, rounds it out Thursday and Friday at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So with that said, that's how you find us live. Now let's get into the nitty gritty of it. How do we use DeLorean Boot Camp officially starts now? So with that said, I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to back out all of this information here. And if I go under strategies, this is how we actually find the DeLorean software. So first things first, when you go to the DeLorean software, you're gonna click on this little badge here. And once you click on it, it's gonna pop up here. You have to actually click it one more time. So we'll click it one more time. And this right here is how you actually use the software, the strategy, the product, whatever you wanna call it. This is how you use it and use the strategy. So. Everything is already set up for you, and that's the greatest part about it. All these lines should be here. This RSI should be here. Everything should be set up. So let's explain each and every element so you know exactly how to use it. On the right bottom corner, first things first, you're going to have a little circle. That circle right there is either red or it is green. Red means you're not supposed to be trading right now. Green means you are supposed to be trading. And so what the software is doing is it is looking and it is saying, is it a good time to trade? Are there any exceptional news spikes about to come? Or is there any dead volume that's about to come? What's about to happen right now that we need to be aware of? And so with that said, this is going to tell us yes or no, we should be looking for trades. So right now it is red. Should we be looking for trades right now? No, you shouldn't. But this is a perfect time to learn exactly how to use uh, the software. So with that said, on the right side, you'll notice over here, all these currency pairs, every single one you can click on. It's all clickable and a new chart will open up. And I'm, I'm not here right now to teach you how to use it. I'm here to show you around. So when you click on them, you'll notice a new trade opens up, a new pair opens up and it shows you what it is. And you'll notice if we go back, we can go an hour, 39 minutes ago. You can see that we can go back there to those trades as well okay so with that said when you click them you're going to see the arrow and that's that now up here top left corner under training you'll see watch this that is your official delorean training and of course today we're going to talk more about it we're going to go through the same training today in delorean boot camp day one so this right here under watch this is a replayable version of it unless you want to just watch the boot camp up here is the graphics that I will use in that presentation. So you have those graphics for you. This is for the short term time frame, 15 minute, 30 minute, one hour, 15 minute, 30 minute, one hour. And then of course we can go over to uh, the four hour and the daily, <clears throat> excuse me. And uh, you'll see the four hour and the daily time frames as well. So with that said, under strategies, we will also see shadow. Shadow is unique because what shadow is, is when a person sends a trade. So right here, you can see that I sent a trade out five hours and four minutes ago. And so what this allows me to do is actually send a trade to you guys inside of DeLorean, but it's not a computer doing the work. It's me saying, hey, I think you should look at this idea. So for example, this is Euro dollar. This is a trade idea. And it says blatantly sell limit at 1.0877, which is right here. And a stop loss at 1.0946 and a take profit down here. So it shows you, we always vet these to make sure we have a minimum risk to reward ratio, which you'll learn later in boot camp. And uh, with that said, this shows you exactly where you should be entering in the market. And they of course do not come consistently. Sometimes we have a lot, sometimes very little. It's all based off the market. So as you can imagine, if you want alerts for the shadow, all you have to do is go up to shadow, click it, and it's gonna open up a telegram. And all you guys have to do is get a telegram account and subscribe to this 
so that you'll get an alert directly to your cell phone whenever an alert actually comes. It's really good for those of you guys that are busy, which I'm assuming most of you guys are. So with that said, let's continue boot camp now. Let's switch over to the official beginner guide. Let's start learning how to use it, especially if you're brand new, and hop right into it. So now we are here. We are in the official training of the DeLorean, and we're in the official training for the day one of the boot camp. Now this training is basic training. And obviously the word boot camp, I come from the idea of going to basic training and then going into more advanced techniques. And so today we are about to head into basic and we're about to walk in to learn exactly how to use this strategy from a basic standpoint, not advanced. So let's first hop in. And, and what I wanna do is in the comment section right now is just ask you guys, how many of you guys by show of yeses to this point have traded currency before? Okay, and, and better yet, by a show of no's in the comments, how many of you guys have never traded currency before, never traded with the DeLorean before? Because for those of you guys that have not, you guys are the type of people that I'm on this call today to talk about. You guys are the type of people that I want to take from zero, as I said earlier, to 100. A person that doesn't know how to trade to a person that really knows how to trade. So, first things first, I wanna introduce myself Everybody probably on here already knows me, but on the slim chance you don't, my name's Patrick Kenny. I've been trading ever since I was 18. In the current time of, of doing this boot camp live, I'm 24 years old, so I have been trading now for about six years. I've been teaching people at a high level for approximately three years, and the greatest thing about what I'm gonna show you today is that this is the best training that I have ever created, and that is the best part about it. And so with that said, you know, I, I got introduced to the market when I was young, I was just out of high school. And the reason I was introduced was the reason anybody is ever introduced. They are trying to look for different ways to make some money. And obviously the whole adage of you gotta make your money work for money is directly correlated with what we're doing here because what you have to realize is that we have 24 hours a day. But what you need to also realize is that we technically speaking just print money on demand. And the idea of this is that we have money everybody has a little bit or a lot of money and we can trade that money for more money and so obviously everybody in here probably already knows what forex is but on the slim chance again you don't let me explain a concept to you let me give you an example so let's say you went you live in the united states of america and you decide you're going to go to europe for whatever reason it might be a business trip might be a family vacation doesn't matter but you decide to go and you need to convert some of those US dollars that you have to euros in order to have some spending cash if you want to have actual tangible cash on you instead of use a credit card over in Europe. So let's say for example you have a thousand dollars and you go in there to, it's like a really bad place to do it, but let's say you do it at the airport even though their, their conversion rates are awful. Let's say you go to the airport and you give them a thousand dollars cash. Assuming we don't have those awful rates for uh, example, let's say you get you give them a thousand US dollars and you get a thousand euros back, assuming we have a one to one ratio. Doesn't happen often like that, but let's say it is. So you go to Europe, you have a thousand euros and the moment you land, your friend picks you up and says, keep the money, please. I wanna take care of you the entire time. I don't want you to spend a dime. I don't want you to do anything. And you do that, you hold on to the money. Of course, you're, you're, you're in luck. And what happens is at the end of the, say the 10 day trip, when you come back to the United States, you have a thousand euros now. Assuming again, we're just getting rid of the fees for confusion. You have a thousand euros. And you give the thousand euros to the lady at the airport and she gives you back, say, $1,010. So you left with a thousand dollars and you came back with a thousand ten dollars. Why did that happen? The value of the US dollar went up in comparison to the euro going down. Why is that important? Well, that is what we're doing. We are here trading currency on our laptops or cell phones, doing the same exact thing on a much higher scale. So with that said, let's talk about DeLorean. What is DeLorean? Well, DeLorean is a multi-time frame scanner at its whole, at its heart. It scans the 15 minute, 30 minute, one hour, four hour, and daily time frame simultaneously across 30 different currency pairs. What this means for us is that we have 150 different opportunities and options it is scanning for every single day. And this is 
three years in the making. We originally made this just for myself and Tyrone Foster, who everybody obviously knows. And when we made it, we made it for ourselves to use to get alerts to trade. And so because of that, we have had this around a long time and we have a very adaptable algorithm that is always changing for market conditions and depending on what's happening in the market to try to keep us in the best places at all costs. And finally, because of now my great friend, but one of my mentors, Stephen Hooley, he has designed it so it looks pretty. It's a lot easier for people to understand. It's an easy visualization. It's easy to follow. So with that said, this is what it looks like. Okay, we already talked about the interface a minute ago, so I'm just gonna buzz through this. Everything comes standard. And what I mean by this is when everything comes standard, all those lines you see on the chart, uh, all the pairs, everything is standard. Everything is done. There's nothing to be downloaded and everything is clickable. The arrows is what you need to pay attention to. And so that's what we're going to jump in in just a second here is the arrows and how you use it. So again, first things first, I built this for myself. Now, a lot of you guys probably don't know what that reason is, but I had one thing in mind when I built it. Can anybody in the, in the comment section guess what that is? One thing. I had one thing in mind. Simplicity. I wanted to keep this thing simple at all costs. Keep it simple. Make sure that whatever I do, because this is now going to be a strategy that the public can see, make it simple so that that person that's never traded before can understand it. So simplicity at its best. We have a blue arrow and that means buy. We have a red arrow and that means sell. Again, blue arrow means buy, red arrow means sell. Blue arrow, buy, red arrow, sell. How easy can it get? That already takes 50% of the battle out of understanding how to trade in the market. So you might be wondering, how do I use it? Well, we follow a simple four-step process. That is B, C, L, S. Bigger, cut, location, space and trade. Now, of course, we have to know what these all mean. We're going to, of course, go into this in a little bit. But BCLS are the four letters you need to remember going into this training. So as a quick note, before we begin this training, especially if you've never seen this before, we are going to focus on the two candles to the left of each arrow every single time we focus on a trade. Okay. So as we do it, here are your cheat sheets. Take a quick picture of them. You're going to need to have them. So this is your first cheat sheet right now. This cheat sheet right now is a sell signal for the short term uh, trades. Okay, 15 minute, 30 minute, one hour. And notice on the top left corner, it says blatantly, is it between 2 a.m. and 10 a.m.? Again, is it between 2 and 10 a.m.? That is your question that you must answer before you actually take a trade on the short term. It needs to be in that window. And the reason that it needs to be in that window is that's when the most volume is coming from New York session to London session. That only goes for the 15 minute, 30 minute, and one hour time frames. Okay, so just write those down. This is now on the flip side for the buy signal. So it's the same verbiage, except for all the verbiage is customized and changed for you so that you have a better shot of understanding it. And everything is just as needed. So when you see a blue arrow, on a short term time frame, you can go to this right here and see exactly what you need to see in terms of taking the trade. Now, this is for your higher time frames. Notice what we got rid of. We got rid of that 2 to 10 a.m. window. The reason being is we don't care when you're trading the higher time frames. The volume is less relevant. And so since the volume is less relevant, what we need to focus on now is just the four steps. It doesn't matter when you're taking the trade. It does not matter if that little red dot in the bottom right corner that I showed you earlier, it doesn't matter if that's red. You can take this at any time. Same on the, on the sell side for the higher time frames. You can take it at any time. Now, for the sake of today's example, we are going to hop on short-term trades here. Okay, short-term trades. So let's get on these charts and start discussing what we need to see in these short-term trades. So first things first, you have to answer for yourself is, is this a buy or is this a sell? That's the first question. So the first thing I would do is I would say, okay, self, I'm going to look on the chart and I'm going to look for an arrow. The first thing I notice is a red arrow on the chart. 
that red arrow signifies to me that we are going to be looking to sell. So we need to pull up our short-term sell cheat sheet and start to read each question. So it says, step one, look at the two candles to the left of the arrow. Is the red candle bigger than the blue? Okay, moving over now, I'm gonna look at the two candles to the left of the arrow. Is the red candle bigger than the blue? Well, I see the big red candle and I see the blue candle. I notice the red one's bigger than the blue, so I'll say yes. The red is bigger than the blue. Let me move on to step two. Step two says, does the red line cut through both candle bodies? Well, there's a big red line cutting through this entire chart. And remember, the candle bodies are the big chunky things, not those little things, those little dashes are called wicks. What I call big chunky things are the candle bodies. And so I notice the red line is cutting through the two candles. Again, we're paying attention this whole time for every example, the two candles previous to the arrow. And what do I see? The red candle is cutting through both candle bodies. So I get a yes. I get a second yes. That leads me to step three. Now this one we can elaborate a little bit off. So get your notebooks ready. Is the gray aqua or blue line closely above the two candles? That's the question you want to ask yourself. Is the gray aqua or blue line closely above the two candles? Now, here's the question. You can add an additional statement to this. And that is, or cutting through them. Four words. Or cutting through them. And so now your question is, is the gray, aqua, or blue line closely above the two candles or cutting through them? So we go look and we notice that the aqua is cutting through both. Again, the aqua is cutting through both. So we get a yes and that leads us to step number four. Step four says, did you make sure the gray, aqua, or blue lines are not closely below price? Now, closely is a vag, it's a loose term. So when we look at this, what do we notice? What is the closest color? Comment this down below. What's the closest color below the aqua? The blue, right? That dark blue. So you have to go from the arrow price to the blue. Now look at the arrow. Where's the price on the right of the arrow? 1.832. And then you go over and you take a good look at the blue. Where's the, where's the price of the blue? 1.829. Now, if you just take the three numbers, get rid of the last number on the right side, and just take the three numbers after that, you are left with 320 for where the arrow's at, and you're left with 290 where the blue is at. That's 320 minus 290. That's a 30 pip gap. Here's the answer of closely. Closely is defined by 10 pips. So the gap, the gap in the space need to be greater than 10 pips on step number four, and it needs to be less than 10 pips on step number three and or cutting through on step number three. Okay, so that's your first example. You get step one passes, yes. Step two passes, yes. Step three passes, yes. Step four passes, yes. What do you think right now is, what are we gonna do? Boom, take the trade, okay? That is how we actually take the trade. We get four yeses. All we're focused on today is do we take the trade, yes or no? That's all we're focused on. We're not focused on anything else today. So let's go to another example. I want everybody in the comments section now to light it up. Is this a buy or is this a sell? Is this a buy or is this a sell? So now we're gonna take a good look. What do we notice? Well, what we notice is we have a blue arrow, so it'd be a buy. So we gotta go and we have to look at this buy cheat sheet. Okay, same cheat sheet, it just changes the verbiage. So look at the two candles to the left of the arrow. Is the blue candle bigger than the red? Is the blue candle bigger than the red? Again, we're looking at the two candles to the left of the blue arrow. That big blue candle, that little red candle, I just gave it away that big blue candle, little red candle, is the blue candle bigger than the red? And yes, it is. So that moves us to step number two. Step number two says, does the red line cut through both candle bodies? So we take a good look. Does the red line cut through both candle bodies? And here's when we look at it. 
What do you notice? Well, remember what I said. The big chunky thing. The big chunky thing. What do you see? That's a wick, not a chunk. You need to remember that. What we are focused on is the big chunky thing. And so when you look at that, notice that the red line cuts through the blue candle, but the red line does not cut through the red candle. It's not an either or. The red line must cut through both candles in order to get a yes. Let me say it again. The red line must cut through both candles in order to get a yes. Because you get a no here, you do not take this trade. We could stop our analysis here. We could give up, not take a trade here, and move on to the next. But for example, and for sake of learning, I'm going to keep going on this one. So let's go to step three. Even though we know step two is a no, we will not take this trade. Let's go to step three and just read it. Is the gray aqua or blue line closely below the two candles? Okay, so that's another question we have to ask ourselves. Is the gray aqua or blue line closely below? Well, I see an aqua above. I see a gray above. I don't even see a blue in the picture. Is the gray aqua or blue line closely below? No. Not even close. We don't even have anything in there. The second thing you could add is or cutting through them, remember. But remember, that's not wicking to it like it is. Cutting through is the candle bodies, just like the red, just like step two. So you get another no. You get another no. So there's two reasons to not enter this trade. And again, the, the step number three is really important. We're going to get to this in, in you know day four, day five of the boot camp. But on step three, it's all about confluence. Everything is about confluence. The reason step three is so powerful, the reason we need it so much is that we need that extra level when we're buying of support. Right now, what are those lines doing? Supporting or resisting price? They are resisting price. We, we're going to get into this a lot later on in the boot camp with never before seen material. But right now, what you must understand is step three doesn't pass. If you don't understand this stuff, you'll never be able to get through the rest of the boot camp. So you need to get this. It doesn't pass. Another reason not to enter the trade, go to step number four. We read it. Did you make sure the gray aqua or blue line are not closely above the two? We take a look. Okay, look at the arrow. Look at the price. We're at like 0.7513. Look at the next line above us. All right, the blue one's already wicking to it. You should already throw it out when you're wicking to it anyway, just as a framework. But let's say you didn't know that. You just look at the aqua line. You say, all right, you know, I'll give it a, a benefit of the doubt. We'll say it's at 0.7515. Okay, 515 minus 513 is two. You only have a two pip difference there, guys. So you need more room. You need at least 10 pips. That's so you have a decent risk reward ratio. We'll talk about that in day number two. But you need to have a, a, a decent risk reward ratio in order to succeed trading without a doubt. Okay, so with that said, let's go on now to another example. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop here and I'm going to look at this. Now, first things first, everybody comment your answer. Is this a buy or a sell? I think everybody's starting to understand this a little bit. Okay, is this a buy or is this a sell? That's the question you want to ask yourself. But when you put, post that answer, now outside of that answer, here's what I want you guys to think about. I want you to think about all four steps. You've now been learning for what are we in this session now, 25 minutes or so. You've now been learning how to take the trade. And I've been walking you through each step. But what you have not done is thought for yourself yet. So when we look at this, I want you to think about all four steps together. All four steps in one. Okay, every single step in one. So with that said, we now have all four steps in one. I want you to comment, do we take this trade? Yes or no, final answer, go. Drop it down there right now, right now below. Do we enter this trade? Because this is important for us for framework of future examples uh, later on in the boot camp, because you're not gonna have much success if you can't think for yourself. So if you answered yes, great. If you answered no, great. Let's start going into it and let's see who's correct. So first things first, we need to read the steps like normal. Step one, two, three, and four. Step one, look at the two candles to the left of the arrow. Is the blue candle bigger than the red? Okay, so let's look at the two candles to the left of the arrow. Is the blue candle bigger than the red? Is the blue candle bigger than the red? 
Okay. Yes, it is. Blue's bigger than red. Move to step number two. Step number two says, does the red line cut through both candle bodies? So let's take a look at it. Does the red line cut through both candle bodies? And as we look at this, we'll notice, indeed, that red line that goes all the way across the chart comes up and comes into the red one, out the other side, into the one side of the blue, and out the other. Again, the metric and the framework for actually cutting through is in one side, out the other, on both candles. It needs to cut in one side and out the other on both candles. So we get a yes on step number two. That moves us to step number three. Step number three says, is the gray, aqua, or blue line closely below the two candles? Is the gray, aqua, or blue line closely below the two candles? Okay, so we're going to now go into it, and we're going to take a good look. Remember, what was our statement after it? Or cutting through. Those are the top premier setups. So now let's look at this. Is the gray, aqua, or blue line cutting through both or cutting through? What I notice is, is the gray, aqua, or blue line closely below is the first question. Okay, I notice the gray is above, the blue is way out yonder above. But what I also notice is that the aqua is not below, but it's cutting through. So it answers that cutting through question. So you get a yes there. And that leads us to step number four making sure that the gray aqua blue lines are not closely above. Well, you look at the arrow and you might say, well, current price, it even says it right there, current price is at 67.308. Uh, and when you look at the gray line, you might say 67.450. You do it the same way. You, you still get rid of the last number. So 67.450 on the top number is just 745, uh, 745 and then 730 on the bottom. We have a 15 pip gap here in this example. So simply put, we get a yes, a yes, a yes, a yes, and boom, we take this position. We take this trade without question. So if you answered yes to that, you know, congrats to you. And if you didn't, hopefully that just elaborated a point, one, one or the other, about why we actually enter this position. Uh, moving forward now, now we go to uh, the, the fourth example here. Do we buy or do we sell? That's the first question again. Okay. Do we buy or do we sell? So now with that said, we hop on and we take a good look at the arrow. Pretty easy. We look to sell. We go over to our sell template now. Okay. And when we look at the sell template, read it. Look at the two candles to the left of the arrow. Is the red candle bigger than the blue? Okay, I think everybody's got this step one down. And if you realize it, the algorithm is basically designed so that it's only giving us these trade ideas when, uh, when that is bigger. Okay, it's, it's, unless it's a hiccup in the market and there was some sort of gap scenario, question number one should always answer yes on every single trade idea without question. Okay, and that leads us to step number two, which is, does the red line cut through both candle bodies? Now, at this point in time, guys, you should already see it. Does the red line cut through both candle bodies? You'll see that the red line doesn't even touch the blue one, and it just nicks the corner of the red one. That doesn't count on either basis. It doesn't count for the blue, doesn't count for the red. So in this example, again, we, uh, we get a no, you would not take this uh, situation. You would not take this trade. You'd move on to the next trade idea. With that said, we'll go through all three or four steps just for sake of example. And uh, with this question, it says, is the gray aqua or blue line closely above the two candles? So taking a good look again, is the gray aqua or blue line closely above? Now, the reason I go into this example is I realize step number two didn't pass, but this is really important as well. And the reason that I say this is really important as well is when you look at this, remember I said step number three needs to be less than 10 pips and step number four is more than 10 pips. So if less number, uh, step number three is less than 10 pips, then we need to take it from the premium, the pinnacle, I should say, of the two candles prior in this example. So because this is a sell signal, we are looking on step three at, on step three, everything is above. Okay, step three's question is about being, excuse me, above. So if we are looking at this, 
what we are paying attention to is the top of the two candles that are previous to the arrow. So notice the top of the two candles previous to the arrow sit at approximately 107.75. And also notice that the gray line sits at approximately 107.90. Now again, just by counting the pips, we are 15 pips separation. Is that a good or a bad thing? Is that a good or a bad thing? That's not a good thing. We don't want separation. Our goal is to have this where we are within or less than 10 pips. We are at 15 pips. What this example means is that this market could actually rally up into that zone. It's too far gone. We're going to talk a lot about that later on in the boot camp. It's too far gone here. Okay, too far gone. Okay, so with that said, we get a no there. We move on to step four, just for example. Did you make sure the gray, aqua, or blue lines are not closely below? So with that said, we go, we look at the bottom, where's the arrow, okay? Or you can go from price, it doesn't matter. We look at the, uh, the blue line, we'll say the blue line sits at 107,600. We'll say, you know, price is currently, or even the arrow, whatever you want to do, say the arrow's at 107,650. Uh, again, that's five pips difference. That's a five pip gap. And unfortunately, that's not a big enough gap. So in this example, we get a yes, no, no, and no. That is not a boom. We do not take the trade. Okay. So guys, within minutes, you are already identifying profitable setups, guys. Within minutes, you're already identifying profitable setups. All you have to do is take the arrow. You look at the arrow. You take these four steps. That now gets you into the ballpark of taking trades. So I want you to imagine practicing for even one month. Now, with that said, I also want to say a couple of words here. This is, um, you know, the beginning of a long, a long boot camp journey we have. But this right here is the foundation the framework, the basics, the 101. If you do not understand this, I want to make this clear. You will not succeed with the DeLorean. If you do not understand the four-step process, it will be very difficult for you to have any success later on in the boot camp. Now, the boot camp is not confusing. It's not elaborate. It is to the point. But with that said, what it does do is compound. No different than if you, I mean, everybody goes to school at some point in their life. There's prerequisites to classes. This is your prerequisite. This is your 101. This is the prereq to 201, if you will. And so what we have planned for you guys is a lot of different content about different things. So for example, day number two of the boot camp is for you guys to learn about managing a portfolio, learning about the risk that is associated with trading, learning about how to manage your risk, learning about what you need to do to manage your risk, all those sort of things. Uh, moving forward after that, then we're gonna get in the more elaborate trading scenarios that DeLorean's gonna throw at you that we have never talked about uh, in, in a sort of training manner and that I'm really excited to talk about with you guys, of course. So with that said, guys, again, welcome to the boot camp. I want you guys here night after night after night after night. And uh, tomorrow, we will begin tomorrow night again. We will begin in the second part of the boot camp, day number two. And I want you guys here for that so that you guys can, of course, get into the, the motion. Okay. And of course, if you're watching this on recording and, and, and you're seeing this on a recording, then of course you might have access to click on it right now and start watching day two. But I urge you, if you're watching this on recording or live, go back through this on recording again. Go back through it over and over and over again so that you can get the basic principles that you need to succeed with the DeLorean software. So with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed day one of the boot camp. This is designed to be the best possible uh, you know, structuring for a learning environment. And I will see you guys on uh, day number two. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys took some notes uh, don't forget, of course, to shout out uh, your notes of the boot camp on my Instagram uh, that I mentioned earlier on in the session. You can go back and see it and then shout me out on your stories. And with that said, I will see every single one of you guys back here, same time, same place tomorrow. 
at, uh, at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for night number two of the boot camp, day number two, whatever you want to call it, of the boot camp, and I'll see you guys then. All right? God bless.